All right, six, seven power strokes. Uh, I recently did an episode uh, on the uh, diesel podcast and we talked about this. Uh, but one thing that we've seen uh, for failures, especially on Ford stuff, is when Ford does have a problem, what they end up doing is instead of changing a part number, a lot of times they'll change an engineering number. It's kind of sneaky and nobody really knows what's going on with that because it's all internal. But the six, seven power stroke heads um, are a problem with these bolts that I have in my hand. Um, the one in the left, uh, in my left hand is the newer, or excuse me, the older version, the, uh, the I believe 11 to 16. Uh, this is the uh, newer bolt that they have came out with. It's the same diameter, but if you look real close, and I'll come in on the camera, you can see that um, this has a chamfered edge. There's a transition, whereas the major diameter of this bolt and the shaft is the same dimension. Actually, the threads are actually larger on this. Uh, this is a rolled thread. A little bit stronger bolt. These were breaking, um, and because these were breaking, they came out with. They didn't have any more option, honestly, to do anything with it, but to change the bolt. So what we've done is a lot of times these will break in your truck, and you can try to helicoil them in the truck, but you're still going back with the same old bolt, and then trying to get it lined up and drilled out straight can be a problem. Because of that reason, to give you an idea, though, backing up a little bit. This was the predecessor of the 6.4 liter. It had two of these bolts uh, versus one of these, or excuse me, versus three of these bolts. So you can see just how much bigger the 6.4 liters were. I don't know why the Ford engineered it with such a small bolt, but they did and they are a problem. So what we've done is we came out with a kit um, and you can look here. It replaces this bolt with an M8 1.25 and this is a 12.9 grade bolt uh, much larger diameter and a lot stronger so you don't have those failures this is an in-service repair kit that we have that we're going to be offering and there's two different ones there's one for a left head and one for a right head and they're actually a different bolt pattern um, but what it does is it allows you to go in and put in these uh, changeable uh, bushings and it allows you to use the bushings to line up so you would put two bushings in here and you would be able to line uh, up and install the original bolt in this hole and then change out each of these bushings. You can change out one for a drill and one for the tap. So you'll just pop those out and that'll allow you to drill it oversize and make sure it's straight when it goes in and install the M8 1.25. You'll need to drill the holes out for the rocker arms uh, to accommodate this. You can do that pretty easy in a drill press. It comes off the truck. It's not like you're trying to work uh, in the truck to do that. So that's a lot easier doing that. Uh, but if this is something that you need, you have a broken rocker pedestal bolts and wondering why they broke, um, this is your problem. And this is the solution for it. So give us a call. Thanks for watching.